these parabolas are going to be either in the form x squared equals 4py or y squared equals 4px. Okay, so if you can see that the x term is squared and the y term is not, that tells you that the parabola is opening up or down. Okay, depending whether this coefficient here, the p-value is positive opening up or negative, it'll be opening down. Now, same thing with y squared. If p is positive, it's going to open to the right. If p is negative, it will open to the left. Now, this equation on the top here is just where the vertex is centered at the origin. Okay, if it's like this bottom one here, it's been shifted, okay, right h and up k. So the number that's grouped with the y is going to affect the y direction. The one that's grouped with the x is going to affect the x direction, but opposite from the sign. So if it's like y minus 2, that's actually going to go up to, not down to. So it's the opposite. If it's plus, it actually goes down. If it's minus, it goes up. So they're going to have the opposite effect on the graph. So we're going to go through some examples so you'll understand. Now, what exactly is a parabola? Well, just to show you, okay, what a parabola is, it's a set of all points, okay, that are equidistant. So say, for example, I drew a point right there that are equidistant to a point called the focus and a line called the directrix. Now, the way I drew my parabola, I just drew this kind of real quick, but I should have drawn it a little bit wider like this because any point along this parabola should be equidistant to the focus and to this line called the directrix. And you can see the distance from the vertex to the focus and the vertex to the directrix is the same. That's what we call the focal distance or the p-value in our equation here. Let's get into some examples. I'll show you what I mean. So let's say we want to graph this one, x squared equals 16y. The first thing we want to notice is that the x is squared. Okay, so that tells us it's going to be opening up or down. And p is positive, so we can see it's going to be opening up. So if I draw a graph here, the vertex is at the origin because it hasn't been shifted. There's not an h or a k. And the p-value is 4. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's where the focus is right there because 16 equals 4p. I just set those equal and solve for p. And I'm going to go down 4, and that gives us the directrix right there. So that's the equation y equals negative 4. Now, another little hint, okay, that makes graphing these a lot easier is that at the level of the focus, okay, see right here, at the level of the focus, this width is equal to 4p. Okay, did you catch that? So that means that over here, at the level of focus, this is going to be 16 units wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 8 to the right, okay, and I'm going to go 8 to the left. Okay, and so that gives me an idea about how wide to draw the parabola. Okay, do you see how that works? So this distance from here to here is 16. It's opening up because this is a positive p-value, and it's an x-squared uh, variety. Okay. Let's go to the next one. So this one here is a little bit more challenging. You can see this one's been shifted, and you can see it's a y squared type, which means it's going to be opening right or left. But because this value is negative, it's going to be opening to the left. So let's see if we can draw a graph of this. So where's the vertex for this parabola? Can you tell? It's going to be at negative 3, see the opposite, and positive 2. So the one group of the x is the x coordinate of the vertex. The one group of the y is the y and they have the opposite sign. So this is going to be left 3 and up 2. So there's the vertex right there. Now we know it's going to be opening to the left, and if I set 12 equal to 4p, that means p is negative 3. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. Okay, so there's the focus. There's the vertex, and if I go 3 the other direction, okay, 1, 2, 3, there's the directrix. Okay, now remember, at the level of the focus, it's going to be 4p wide, so it's going to be 12 wide. So I'm going to go up 6 and down 6 from the focus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so right about there. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right about there. So that gives me an idea about how wide to draw the parabola. So again, this distance right here is 4p wide, 12 wide. Okay, so far so good. Sometimes they'll ask you for the equation of the axis of symmetry, this line right here, meaning if you fold it over that line, it, the parabola will match to itself. So you can see that's a horizontal line. In this case, it's going to be y equals 2. And this one here, it's going to be x equals 0. Okay, so you're with me so far? Okay, now the last example I want to show you is 
how do you work backwards to find the equation if they're giving you some information about the parabola? So say for example, the vertex is at one, two, and the focus is at three, two. How do we find the equation? Okay, well what I like to do is I like to draw a sketch just so I can visualize it a little bit. So let's do that. So basically right here we have vertex is at one, two, Okay, I'll just write a little V for vertex. The focus is at 3, 2. So I'm just going to put a little F for focus. So what that tells us, we know that the parabola is going to be opening towards the focus. Like you see here's the focus. It's like inside of the parabola in a sense. See, like that, right? Okay, so this we know this is going to look something like this. All right. So we know that since it's open to the right, it's a Y squared variety. The vertex is at 1, 2. So we're going to be using this form right here. So it's going to be y minus 2, okay, equals x minus 1, okay. This is going to be y minus 2 squared, okay. And then now we just have to find this value right here, okay. The distance from the vertex to the focus, that distance is 2. That's the p distance, the focal distance. So 4 times 2 gives us 8. And it's a positive 8 because it's opening to the right. If it was opening to the left, it would be negative 8. 